Hey guys, what's up? Joey Ragona here. It is an awesome day. Hopefully you're having an awesome day yourself. And I wanted to just jump on here real quick to share some information with you. It's been a long day for me uh, coaching clients and I found that we've had the same discussion today uh, regarding marketing and attracting ideal clients and getting that marketing message to those clients. And I kept going back to the same exact thing telling my clients exactly what to do and I want to share that with you, okay? So the thing is that when people are asking me about, you know, the marketing message and how to get in front of those ideal clients, the very first thing that I ask them is, how aware are your customers about what it is that you do? Now I want you to be really careful on how you answer that question because once you understand the levels of awareness of your customer, this is where all your marketing starts. And I just, again, just finished another coaching call uh, today, uh, minutes ago, and we talked about this. It was, it was about one thing and then it ended up being into a marketing uh, type of a discussion. So let me give you the uh, levels of awareness and then kind of explain to you uh, how this works using the person that I just uh, finished the conversation with to give you an example, okay, and how this would work. So the levels of awareness are this, that there are, the person is most aware. They know everything about you. They know everything about your products. They know all the things that you do. They're just the most aware. That's the easiest person to sell, right? And we'd all love to have those people. So it's the most aware person, okay? That's the top level of awareness. The second level of awareness is a product aware person. It's somebody who understands uh, everything about your products, right? They're, you're selling whatever it is. They understand what they are. They're just looking at, well, um, I'm not sure which product is good for me. Can you help me out? All right. Third prop, the third level of awareness, the middle one is the solution aware. All right. They're aware of a solution that they're, they're looking for and they're coming in and they know they're just looking for a solution and then you're going to, they're going to be introduced to your products and they're going to be introduced to uh, or become very aware of what you do and then hopefully uh, serve or, or buy from you, right? The fourth level is the pain aware person. This is somebody coming into your world who is aware of a pain that they've got and they want a solution, they want a product and they want to hopefully and hopefully they want to work with you, right? And the last level of awareness, the lowest one is the people you just, don't, I mean, it's no use really trying to work with them anyway, is the people who are unaware. Those are people who you have to educate. And it's very hard and very expensive to educate people to tell them, here's the pain that you've got and all this other kind of stuff, right? So I'd rather not start on the bottom of an, an, un an unaware person who might need coaching or marketing help or whatever. I would rather deal with the other levels. So now let me give you an example of how this worked. Now, I was talking to a client, like I just said, a little while ago, and we were discussing where her entry points or people coming into her entry points were. And she believes that when I first asked her, she believed that she was they, they were solution aware or they were product aware. They, they wanted to work with her by the time they come into uh, her funnel or speaking with her that they are aware of what she does. All right. In further analysis of what the thing is and, and what actually the people that are watching her videos or putting videos out like this, we discovered that it was more pain aware because what she does well is this, describing the pain to someone and then diagnosing them and saying to them, listen, I understand this is the pain that you're going through, but here's the real underlying solution to that. Here's the underlying problem with that. So what she's good at is bringing the problem, like is bringing someone from the pain point to being aware of the solution. Do you understand? So the people that are coming into her world are not solution-based people. So if the marketing starts out at solution or marketing starts out at the product, the people are not, are just going to glaze over that. So these are the four, the five things that you need to be completely aware of when you are talking about or starting any type of marketing, whether that is designing an opt-in page or a sales page. It could be I'm talking about the, the email. You're, do, you're going to write an email. Well, are the people on your list? Where What level of awareness are they at? This is the secret that so many marketers miss. And I'm telling you that as long as you, whenever you sit down to write a piece of marketing, and like, like I said, a piece could simply be an opt-in and you're sending people to the opt-in page, then what are the level of awareness when they get to that opt-in page? If they already understand that it's a product, right? Like I was gonna look for a demonstration. I don't know, you're, this is a timer, okay? Like I'm selling this timer 
And if you understand that, yeah, this is a timer that I want to buy, then when you get to the opt-in page, then I can talk about the timer because you already understand what that is. But if you don't know if, well, do I need a timer? Like all I'm trying to figure out is how do I get more productive? And that's a problem. Then I'm, I'm sending you to the opt-in page and it'll be not about the timer. It'll be about, let's see, let's help you get more productive. And how you get more productive is maybe have a you know a time limit on what you're doing in terms of productivity, right? And then I can sell you on the timer. Does that make sense? So it's really when you sit down every single time to write a piece of marketing, doesn't matter what it is, it could be as simple as a ver as a as an opt-in page, is knowing exactly who is coming to that page and the level of awareness that they're at. Do they know the product? No. Well, do they understand the solution? No, but they understand the pain. You start with the pain. If they understand what the solution is, I'm looking for a timer or I'm looking for a better way to be productive because I'm, you know, not uh, being able to, to deal with my time all this in, in, a, in a productive way. Um, I need a timer. Then, th then I can talk about the timer as the solution. Here's the solution, here's the product, here's the awareness, the, the most aware, which is Joey's got the best timer or whatever it is. A crazy example, right, with the timer. So anyway, so those are the five levels of awareness, okay? Remember, most aware, number one. Best way to do it, right? Most aware. Product aware, product or service aware. They're aware of your product, they're aware of your service, and they know exactly what they want, but they don't know which... Um, which product or which service you're, you're offering is best for them. So that's where you're going to sell them on, whichever it is best for them, right? Solution aware. They are aware that they need coaching or they need your product. They need to get their toilet, you know, fixed, whatever, right? They need that solution. They're solution aware, so they're coming to your, your page for that or reading your ad, whatever it is. Then there's pain aware, which is, the, which is number four. Pain aware. And then there's unaware, okay? Those are the five levels of awareness. Use those every single time. Write them down. Put them on a post-it note right in front of you every single time you're writing a, a piece of marketing or anything that you're writing, even doing a video, and saying to yourself, okay, where are the people that are watching this, that are reading this, uh, where are they in their levels of awareness? And it will change your marketing forever, okay? So if you want more information about any of the stuff that I do, go to BreakthroughMarketingClass.com, um, BreakthroughMarketingClass.com. You can get yourself a free video there. There's even a download there that'll uh, give you some other levels of customer and client um, in terms of ideal clients. Give you a little bit of a checklist there, go there. And if you like this video, share it with the people that you know who can benefit from this, and I will talk to you soon. Ciao.